Is this really happening right now? Am I about to record a Team Fortress 2 video? On this channel? Wow! <clears throat> hey, what's going on everybody? Jerma here with a Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. It's been a while since you've seen TF2. It's been a long time. And why am I doing it now? Why am I, have I decided randomly right now to make this TF2 video? It's because I just played Overwatch. I just got back from the Blizzard event where they showcased Overwatch to a bunch of people. I was one of the people that were there. It was a pretty cool event. Got to play the game for a few hours. Sat down with it. It's really fun. And now I want to play TF2 again. It's sort of the unintended consequences of going to the Blizzard event was there aren't very many games like this that are on the market right now. And getting that initial taste of Overwatch got my juices going for TF2. Which is a really good thing. That means that Overwatch impressed me enough where it got me to want to play at least a similar game because I want to play more Overwatch. So we're going to break this down very, very quickly, very easily. I'm not going to go over gameplay mechanics. I'm not going to talk about how many knots per second this character moves at sea level. I'm just going to say one, one, one thing. I keep getting this intermittent rash that I cannot ever get rid of. And I always try to use different products. And you know, you know the type of rash I'm talking about, it's on your back. It's in a really weird spot where your left hand has to come wrapping around your body and try to scratch it. Your right hand then swoops around and you like reach down and you're like barely touching your two fingers, but you can't get it. And God did that. I got to go to the doctor now. You go to the doctor, you walk in, the doctor prescribes you Team Fortress 2. You go down, your Team Fortress 2 clears up the rash. You're smearing that TF2 all over the rash and it's filling. It's good. You're using a lot of the Team Fortress 2 tube of an antimony ointment though. And after like three or four years, you run out of the ointment. You go to the doctor. The doctor says, oh, geez, you got, I'm running out of that TF2 medicine. I take it. I'll this is all I got left. It's another two-year supply. You take that two-year supply, you're like, yes, I'm so fucking glad. You rub it more, you, the rash is seceding, it's going away, and then the rash comes back up even worse after that, and you go back to the doctor, the doctor says, I don't have any more Team Fortress 2 medicine, they just continued that shit in like 2014, and you're like, no, what do I do? This rash is starting to take over my body, it's itchy all over, and then Overwatch comes out, and it's a new medicine. And you've seen the ads on TV, you're like, what is this new medicine? I don't like the side effects. Side effects may include stinging and burning initially, and you're like, I don't want to be stinging and burning initially. I don't want so you get it, you fucking, you don't even want it, but you get it because, okay, I'll just take it, I guess. You put it on, ah, it stings! Oh, God! Ooh, 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 ooh! And then, like, a couple hours later, the rash is starting to feel a little better. It's starting to go away, it still hurts, but the rash is going away. And look, I don't even, I can't even tell you, dude, the Overwatch might make the rash worse. You know, you get some medications where it makes the thing that you're the problem you're having worse, and you're like, what the fuck, I got this because I had a rash. I didn't get this because I wanted a bigger rash. But then what's going to cure that rash? Nobody knows. And I'm not going to pretend like I do know. I'm not going to pretend to sit here and tell you that Overwatch is going to be the best game ever, that when it releases, it's going to be a 10 out of 10. I don't know that. All I know is it was really fun when I played it. The characters all feel great. Bastion is probably my favorite character out of all of them. If you don't know what Bastion is or what the character is, he's this big, goofy robot guy that can turn himself into an immobile sentry. And you find those places, you find those chokes where you know people are going to come through and you just turn into a sentry gun. And you get this big shield in front of you to help protect you and teammates and laying down that suppressing fire. It's, it's great. I love being the support characters in games like this. It's one of the reasons why Engineer is my favorite class in Team Fortress 2. It's because of the almost indirect help you're giving people. When I build the teleporter, or when I build a dispenser as the engineer, I know people are using it, but I'm not making people use it. Like, I'm not grabbing somebody by their pant legs and their shirt collar and tossing them over the point to go to B. Like, I'm not directly teleporting people. My shit's doing it for me. Same thing with a character like Zenayata in Overwatch, who has this orb that you simply place on somebody. It can only go on one person at a time, and it just heals them. You give somebody a personal pocket medic, and you don't even need to be near them. You just have to place it on them. But the characters in Overwatch, just like in Team Fortress, have the personalities behind them to make it so you want to play as a certain character. You'll connect with one of these characters just like I did when I first started playing with the Spy. I thought, like, oh, he's Spy. I thought he was, like, the coolest thing ever, and I wanted to play Spy. Even though I wasn't that good with Spy, I just wanted to hear him talk. And that's so huge for me in a game like this. Like, the reason why I continue to play TF2, why I like Team Fortress, why I've been playing for as long as I have, it has a lot to do with the personality of the characters. It has a lot to do with the shorts 
the Source Filmmaker videos, the Gmod videos, the comics, the stuff, the whole world that has been realized around these characters. They're each their own person, they're each their own hysterical, awesome character. And I really hope that's what happens with Overwatch. I hope Blizzard takes that seriously because we love to see these characters play out situations and be sort of these living, breathing people when in fact they're just kind of mercenaries that are playing in a multiplayer shooter game. Now, however you feel about Overwatch, if you think it's going to be terrible, if you don't like it looks, if you think it's too much like TF2 or whatever, at least it's trying to do it. At least it's trying to fill a potential void that TF2 will inevitably leave behind. When is that going to happen? I don't know. I don't know. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen next year. It could happen 10 years from now. But that's the problem with the Team Fortress series. It is covered in this gigantic shroud of the unknown. We don't know where the direction of the series is going. We don't know what they're going to be adding. We don't even know if there's going to be another installment in this series. We just get the stuff that Valve gives us whenever they deem it necessary to give it to us. That's it. That's just the way it's always been, and that's the way apparently it's going to be. But it's just refreshing to see a company like Blizzard that has the money and has the experience making games stepping up to the plate and taking a swing. And I'll parrot what I said in the beginning. I'll end this video simply by saying the time that I spent with it was pretty damn fun. I'm starting to get more interested in it than I was before. And even if it's not the rash cure that I initially think it's going to be, I'll find another fucking prescription. But we'll leave it at that. Just know that I don't want to overhype it for myself. I made the overhype video. I'm getting excited. I don't want to get this excited about it, but I'm starting to get excited. I don't know what to do. Somebody please help me. I'm getting too excited for Overwatch. Somebody come...